Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to use PHP to connect to a MySQL database. Okay, so the, our first step is to define some database variables. Now there's four that we need to do and uh, we have a series of defined statements here. And um, they essentially are the database name, okay, the or a user that's authorized to use that database and the password for that user and also the database server which in the vast majority of cases is going to be localhost uh, if your database is on the same server as the PHP script that you're running it's almost certainly localhost otherwise this might be an IP address or some other uh, locator that will point you to that database okay so once we've set up those values then we can connect to mysql on the server okay so we hold that connection in a, in a variable so we're going to call that uh, uh, mysql underscore connection all right and then we use the mysql connect um, command or procedure and we pass that uh, these values the first the database server and then the user and then uh, the password for that user okay this die statement basically lets us know if something's gone terribly wrong so after the final bracket for mysql connect we have our or die statement and then uh, within the brackets for that we have uh, you know mysql error mysql connection and basically what will happen there is should a serious error occur um, the script will stop and the particular error that has been run into here will be displayed on the screen so that you can troubleshoot and see what's going on. Okay, so that connects us to MySQL, but we still haven't uh, connected or selected a database within MySQL because you could have many, of course. So um, now we go ahead with our MySQL select database command here and we pass that the database name okay and we pass it the mysql connection which we set up previously right here okay that's why we put it into a variable so we can pass it here and actually select our particular database within mysql um, and again here we have our or die statement mysql error mysql connection bit which um, of course will help with troubleshooting um, after you've done all that you have everything going normal right you have connected to your database and you can go ahead and start using it right and in this particular database that uh, I've actually set up here called um, you know your database name uh, there's a table called contacts and here we could insert uh, values into that table. That's a topic for another video. Uh, the limit on this video was showing how to actually first connect and here we have all that code for you. I uh, hope you found it useful. If you did, please subscribe. Thank you kindly.